right, folks, Herman here. I'm doing my second night shift here in our retirement home. Uh, the nights are very warm at the moment. We have a day temperature of about 35 degrees Celsius. It cools off a little bit in the night, but it's very, very warm. Luckily, everybody's sleeping so now. So I have the time to do a short video. Um, several things I want to do. First is, I want to say, I've decided that I will um, give every YouTube video that I watch a thumbs up or a thumbs down from now on. I haven't done that yet. I've done it sometimes, but not very often. But I think that is the least that I can do uh, to show my appreciation for you who make the videos. I won't comment on everything. I don't always have something intelligent to say or something funny to say, or at least something that I think is funny. Um, yeah. The second thing is I want to show you my daily pouch. This here is my daily pouch. I bought it rather early in my pipe career. Must be some at least 10 years now. And it has room for four pipes. Today, a lot of things fall out if I don't take care, but there are only four pipes in it, uh, three pipes in it. My Manga Avocado Pipe, a Stanwell, Sterling, Bent, And, hi Mark, just watched your video, here's a Missouri Meerschaum. This is one of my two Missouri Meerschaums that I have. I've bought these two corn cobs as my summer pipes. On the other side, I have a little pocket. And in this pocket, until they fall out, are my lighter, my Fawen, Tamper, a little pack of filters, <coughs> some filter crystals that I use when the um, draft hole doesn't enter the pipe bowl at, a, at the bottom but a little higher, and a tamper I made myself a bit of beech wood and um, just a nail at the bottom. I've treated it with linseed oil and you can't see it but it, it looks a little bit like plastic. The, the light goes through the outer the outer parts of the of the wood and it, it shines when the light falls on it. Rather proud of this. Okay and behind the small pocket, there's a larger pocket, and here, of course, I have my pipe cleaners. On the outside, there's another pocket with a, with a pen in there. Um, here I also carry my, um, my plug knife, if I have plug tobaccos with me, and I also put uh, some cardboard in here to cut the plug on. And usually I have a foldable pipe stand in there. As you can see, no housekeeping. I'm not allowed to smoke in here. I will smoke later when I have my long break, as there's not much to do. Today I'm reading this here. This is a German translation of an English translation of the Japanese um, biography autobiography of Hakuin, a Zen master. It um, comes into my interest in Buddhism, although I'm not really into, into Zen. Okay, I think that's all for now. I'll have to go out and look if something's wrong, if everything's okay. 
perhaps I'll shoot another little piece of this video later on. That's all the light I have outside here. As I said, I'm not allowed to low, allowed to smoke inside, so I have to go outside on the terrace to smoke a little in my <coughs> summer corn cob. And just checked out the Holy Smoke in Pipe Padre's last video with his 10 best videos in June. And even though he mentions me, it's really worth having a look. I'll add the link in the description. This guy is really awesome. Yeah, well, that's how it is when your work gets between you and your videos. But as I said, check out the Holy Smoke and Pipe Padre. I love saying that. Holy Smoke and Pipe Padre. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. He's an awesome guy. He has an awesome sense of humor. And he really has, has, has a style of videos. Wonderful. I love it. I will also add a link to the YouTube Pipe Presenters Forum in the description. I was one of those who had some worries as to the development of the community, but nonetheless I think it's a good idea and I encourage everyone who's interested to join there. There's something rather strange I noticed about YouTube when I go on I get uh, some channels that YouTube um, tells me I might like the first of these is my channel Okay, I can understand it, of course, I like my channel, but I can't subscribe to myself, can I? don't know if that really is so intelligent. And the rest of the channels are a lot of atheists. Reason TV, The Amazing Atheist, other things like that. There's not one Christian channel. And now I am not sure what this is supposed to mean. Is this a sign or is this just some, some strange YouTube sickness? Who knows?